Alright, what we're looking at is that circumscribed tetrahedral geometry. Alright, what is a tetrahedral? A tetrahedral is a Star of David. Okay, so this is somewhat important because it is showing you the hidden meanings behind some of these spiritual symbols. Alright, so there is an incredible amount of knowledge to be gained by understanding that there is more to this knowledge that is being hidden from you in this understanding. So a tetrahedral is a Star of David. What a Star of David is, is a 2D form of a tetrahedral. A tetrahedral is the three-dimensional form of a Star of David. Okay, so if we were to take this symbol and we were to put it in the 3D, it would be known as a tetrahedral. So circumscribed tetrahedral geometry is when you place a three-dimensional tetrahedron, you circumscribe it inside of a sphere. All right, and why that's important is because that is exactly what we have going on on this planet right now. All right, and we can, in a way, prove that by using some of this unseen or hidden energy manifestation that this equation, this geometrical equation is making. All right. So what you would want to first do is you would want to take the tetrahedral in question and align it at the poles of the planet in question. So our planet is tilted at a 23.8 degree tilt in its axis. We know that by the revolution of the equator okay the equator and where how it spins we can determine the tilt of the axis so as we determine the tilt of the axis we can find the poles and as we do that we align the tetrahedral's north point and its south point to these poles and when we do lo and behold in every planet in the solar system no matter how big or how small we always end up at 19.5 degrees north latitude and 19.5 degrees south latitude. Now this number is a big clue in a lot of ways for some of you mathematicians, but I'm not trying to go over anybody's head right now. I'm trying to keep it simple and explain that these 2D symbols are representing three-dimensional energy forms or manifestations. Okay, and that's what the basis of this is. So. If we align this in Earth, we end up with 19.5 degrees north, 19.5 degrees south. Well, that's interesting because at 19.5 degrees north and south, we have internal upwellings of energy that can be found around the globe. All right? And what you know already from the magnetic field and the geometry that surrounds our planet, it tells you that there is an internal upwelling of energy that is coming from the poles. All right? But you can't see that energy. All right? But the geometry is telling you that it's there. Well, what, what we have at 19.5 is we have exactly at 19.5 north and south latitude. We have an, an internal upwelling of energy. Why is that significant? Well, remember that this geometry is telling us about energy that's in action, energy that's in motion, energy that can be calculated and plotted. And that plotting and that calculation in this form of tetrahedral geometry is found at 19.5 north and south latitude. Well, it just so happens at 19.5, we have the Hawaiian Islands. And everybody knows that the Hawaiian Islands are formed as a result of an internal upwelling of energy. That's lava. All right, so that is the physical form that energy or the upwelling of energy or mathematics is taking place in our world. In other, worlds, in other words, our planet is by design. And that this is the physical energy. This is the geometric design signature that governs those laws of our physical world.